Hello guys. So in my tutorial, my previous tutorial on how to install uh, KitKat on data with on XT4, uh, there was a problem. The, um, there was zero space on the SD card. So if you, for example, you you wanna you try to make pictures with camera, camera saves the pictures on SD card. So it says there is no SD card. So, <coughs> and the tutorial I made it version 4.3 from Titan, and now she released the version 4.4. I ins I updated to this version, and now it's working. Okay, so let's see. Settings. See, I still have 321 from the tutorial, and now I have 4 gigabytes on the SD card. See, SD card for gigabytes, and here was zero space. How you fix this? Okay, let's turn it off. Okay, I will take the SD card. Um, go on. Titan website and download the what is it download the version 4.4. I already downloaded where is it here? Okay let me take the SD card. Okay. Copy the ROM you downloaded and you must rename it. If you want, you can make a clean install, make everything from begin, but I'm not made everything from begin, you can just update and everything is fine. So, let's see. Come on. Okay, and now rename it. If you are on a Windows XP, you must uh, type update at zip. If you are on update at zip, if you are on Windows XP. If not, if you are on Windows 7 or on set, just let update. Press enter, and that's okay. Okay, you can remove it. Remove it, put on the SD on the phone, and now press the power volume, uh, power, 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 power button and keep pressing. Keep pressing, still keep pressing until you see this menu. Now go to menu uh, 10. You try zoom it. Ten. Go to ten services. Services. Okay. Oh, damn it! Wrong one. Okay. For go back, press the in the button um go to nine sorry uh, to eight sorry i was looking eight but i said ten eight ad recovery ad recovery okay good one
Okay. Now you don't go on install zip from SD card. You go on apply update from SD card. Press OK. And here you see install SD card update.zip. Press yes. And now we'll be again the installing of the ROM. Like on the tutorial. But now this will be much faster. You see here the SD card it's where it um, saves data data it should be 4 gigabytes and uh, XT4 3 and 2000 okay and with that on XT4 next full install next start now this should be faster not like on a clean install but let's see updated of course but I can update again it's not a problem after you update you, you will see the SD card space is there and you can use to take pictures or move application to the SD card actually you don't need to move applications if you made them the XT4 partition for gigabytes for example we have enough size but everyone is different so Okay, done. Next, uh, reboot. Yes, finish. Now again, don't do nothing. Let it boot by himself. This shouldn't take much time, but every time it's different. So let's see how much time it takes now.
Okay. Now it's, now it's updating the applications if you have, if you have any. Come on. Okay, see so I have 86 applications, you know, updating the applications and I'm done. Almost done. Starting applications. Okay, well, let's go to check the memory. Storage, you see 321, well, the XT4, and the SD card has 4 gigabytes. So it's working. Come on. Let's go to camera, for example. Oh, this is not bad. We can go through here. Okay, camera. See, it's working. Now it doesn't um, show here insert SD card. So yeah, we can. Let's check another one. We can install and use the SD card like a normal phone with a normal SD card. See here, um, this is the internal memory and SD card for gigabytes. And running. Actually, this version 4.4 it's very good for me. Now after the update it's kind of not so good, but after some time it's very smooth. So yeah guys, if you have any questions, questions or any issues, don't hesitate to comment down below and ask me whatever you need. Okay, see ya in the next tutorial or video.